This is Graham from Dot Easy Customer Care. We're here to help you on again. Now, one of the things we're going to be talking about here is actually how to make websites. Now, a lot of our customers and clients and a lot of people who contact us are interested in one of our more popular packages, which is called the basic hosting. Basic hosting we provide free with any client who actually registers a domain with us. So anyone who's got an active domain with us, bang, you've got the free basic hosting with you. Now with the basic hosting, one of the main things we try and do with it is we try and provide enough that anyone who's really starting out or doesn't know what they're doing with the websites or it's their first time, we're trying to get them a place to start with enough services that they're going to be able to do anything they need in terms of website really, but still limit them to anything that's going to stop them from getting scared or have any problems. So that's really what we're aiming for with this. Something quick, something easy, something that's ease of use. And if you have any trouble with this, that's what we're here for. We do have a website creator, which is for those people who are just starting out, who've never really touched anything, who are kind of nervous about it. It has a bunch of templates. It has everything that's more of a controlled environment. Now, what we're going to be talking today is more of what we can do with basic hosting outside of this controlled environment. So a lot more freedom, still fairly easy to use. And for those people who are maybe a little more comfortable with web design, people who are interested in it, or willing to spend a lot more time. You're going to get a nicer looking site. You're going to have a lot of freedom to do anything you want with. And you can always expand upon it later. And if you need any help with setting this up, such as like uploading the files, uploading templates or anything, we can help you with that. So we're going to be here to help you all the way through if you need it. I mean, the design is really up to you. You do have a large source online. So we're going to be covering a bunch of that today. And we are going to show you mainly the first part of it today, just finding a template where you can look online because there's a lot of resources and how to actually get that onto your server. Now, we're going to be talking a little bit later as to how to actually make changes to that and how you can go through and do it very easily to get your content on the site. But we're going to leave that for a later video. But we're going to start here just kind of showing you what to do. So all you need for this basically is computer access to the internet. Very simple. You can have any account set up with us. If you have your FTP information already, you can kind of follow along with us if you want. If not, you can always contact support or log in and find it easily in members on itself under the quick link quick links reference. So we're going to go through and do this here. So we're just going to pan. So you just want to start here with just having Google up and open or whatever search engine you're using, whatever browser. I've got Firefox just because it's my personal preference, but any of them are good enough. So once you're on Google here, you just go ahead. You can type in really anything you want. When you're looking for any kind of template, there are two basic branches of them. There's free and there's ones that are paid. Now, ones that are paid are typically going to have more scripting to them and they may look a little nicer. But as we all know, we're more here for the free stuff. <laughs> we're all wanting the simple, easy things. So free is definitely what we're going to be covering today. The advantage of the free is, of course, the price tag. And because they're generally a little more neat, they're open source, so you can make changes to them. You can really use them for anything you want. So you can easily go just free website. Yeah. templates and that's what we're going to be looking for so really as you can see it's already pulling a whole bunch of things in this list here as you can see we'll just get rid of the ads there because they're not really necessary and as you can see there's a bunch in the list there's even some things here with some videos showing attached now personally my eyes drawn to this one for open source just because I come from more of a programming background so open source means free goodies for us to play with now for this you can really use anything you want you mainly just to show here that there's a large resource out there. If you're looking for a free template, you've got you're just going to crawl through mounds looking for a different one. But you do have that freedom to choose the one that suits your purpose. Now, what a template basically is for those of you who don't know is more just a layout that you're looking for your site. So you're not going to go in and try and find your perfect site because it may or may not be out there. You may be lucky. Someone made something exactly the same way you want it, in which case, that's terrific. You've got that set up. Most of us here are going to be more looking for something that looks neat to our eyes. It's going to match with what you envision your site to look like. And maybe you're going to need to tweak it a little bit, but that's fine. You're not really interested in the content that's showing up there because you're going to be replacing it with your own. So it's mainly just the layout. And this is where it saves you a lot of time because now you don't have to design your own website. You've already got it done. 
So for this one here, we've looked through a bunch of the ones here. We've actually got a site pre-done, which we're going to go to. And this is more just because it's a little more business focused from what we've seen, which is what a lot of people are looking for, is something that's more nicer looking, clean, a little more business oriented. So the one we've gone to here is just open website design.org. So I mean, you can really go to any other page you want. So as we can see here, there's one that's just titled business template. So we're just going to go to this one. And as you can see here, it's got you a demo of the actual page. So you've got, this is your layout. So it's going to have the menu along the left hand side here, it's got a menu across the top as well. So you can kind of differentiate what you're looking for. You can have a more basic menu across the top with a little more structure down the side. As you can see here, it's got the lovely little bar graphs to show that, hey, we mean business. Now for this here, it's also got the logo. Now all of this here, you can see you're just aiming for the layout. You're going to be replacing this with your own logo. You're going to be replacing these with your own menus, images, everything. But for our purpose here, we're just interested in this. So now that we can see this, we say, hey, okay, this is what we're looking for. This is what we want. So we can click on where it says download at the top. And what it's going to do is it's going to come up and ask you want to download this. This is great. We're just going to click on where it says save file and just it's going to quickly save this for us. Now as we can see here, we're just going to open this up and now these are downloaded zip documents which means you're going to need some kind of program to open them. Uh, mostly you can use WinZip if you're on Windows, you can use 7-Zip, something quickly you can download, whatever program you really want. But all you're trying to do is just extract it itself. So you just want to open it up, extract it, it's going to ask you where you want to extract this to, we're just going to extract it to the default one it shows here just to be simple. So there you go. It's got a folder. This has all your files in it. So it's got everything here. So this is great. Now, one thing you may want to pay attention to, just as a more technical thing, is some of them may have licenses. So you may want to give it a quick read through. Most of them are fine. And they're just saying, hey, you can use this for really whatever you want. Um, I made this, so at least give me credit. And they did give you a free website design, so try and give them the credit they deserve if they're asking for it, which is generally just a little mark on the bottom, some copyright or something. So I mean, it is nice to give them to them. But once you've got this set up here, that's what you're looking for, just all the files itself. Now what you're going to need from this point is some kind of file transfer protocol, some kind of FTP program. So this is something if you're using a Mac, you can use Cyberduck. It's a great free open source one. It is drag and drop, very easy to use. If you're using Windows, you may want to use FileZilla. It's again free to use, very well known, very simple to use. So in this case here, because we've got a Windows layout going, we're going to be using FileZilla. We've already got this opened up here for you. We've already logged into ours. As you can see, this test account, so it's got a whole bunch of extra test folders and everything else we've set up. So all we're going to be doing here is we're going to be going ahead and just basically setting this up here. So for simplicity's sake here, I'm just going to basically copy the entire location that's set up here. You can go ahead and you can really select this any way you want. There's multiple different ways. Just make sure wherever you download it, you know where it is so you can actually get access to it. And that way you can very, very simply put this on. So as you can see here on the local site, these are representing the files on your computer. So we've got everything here. We've got this one folder. All we want to do is just get this straight up there. Now, depending on your program, there's different ways to do about this, but just about every one of them will allow you to right click on it and click on where it says upload to quickly get it there. You're going to see a whole bunch of junk fly across the top here. It's going to look like a bunch of gibberish to you. That's OK. It's just the program working away and telling you, hey, it's done. So you want to wait for that to finish. It'll say it's listed successfully. Um, others may say it's completed. That's its own one here. So for that here, that's going to let us know that, hey, we just uploaded everything to the server. So it's all set up there, which is exactly what we wanted. So now if we go here, we're going to see just, again, a whole bunch of folders because it's just a quick test one we set up. And we've got the business template folder all set up. Now for this one here, you can set it up wherever you want. We just set up as the default folder. If you want this to go right into the actual directory and load right away, real simple, really easy, you want to actually open it up first of all. And you want to grab all the files that are actually in here because these are your actual website images and everything. So you just want to go ahead and select everything here. And then once you've got everything, you can select everything one by one. You just drag them over, drop them over. We're just going to drag it over for simplicity's sake. And bang, you can see it added them all to the bottom of the list there. So now that we've got everything here, we can see, hey, they're on our server. They're ready to go. So now that they're ready to go, you can actually go and view your site. So I'm just going to go back to Firefox. And I'm going to go back to the actual demo site that we set up here.
And if we come here, we can see, hey, there's the actual template. It goes right to our domain, so it's all set up. Nice, easy, and set up. So as you can see, it's exactly the same. There's no content on it yet, but that's what we're going to be covering in the second half of the video. And because we've got our lovely little Microsoft Surface toy here, we're going to show you that it can work as well. Now we've got this set up on our computer, where we're just going to actually get the Surface up and running and show you that, hey, not only does it look nice on here, but it's going to look nice on the actual Surface itself. And as you can see here, we're coming back to our tablet. We've signed in. We've got this up and running. Those of you who joined us for the previous couple of videos are going to recognize this is the way we had it set up before. So we're going to start off by going to Internet Explorer. As you can see, we've got the .dt homepage up here. Now we're just going to go to our actual domain that we created. The test one here, as you can see, we've already got it typed in. So we're just going to go to that straight away. And as you can see, it's set up here pretty much exactly like it showed in the actual website itself the browser. So as you can see on a tablet device, it looks very nice as well. So this is a way to quickly and easily design a site through the website creator, or without using the website creator in this case, to make a business-oriented site, something very quick, something very easy, and it displays fine in both tablets and actual websites itself. So this is kind of where we suggest you go if you don't want to use the website creator, but you still want to have a fairly nice looking site. Now, you do have the option of setting up either free templates or paid templates. It's really up to you. Once you have any kind of template out there and you're sure this is what you want it to look like with a little work, we can get it to work, look pretty much more simple or more like what you want. It's easy enough to do. We can easily set that up. But make sure you do have that template first because we, although you can come to us and say yes or no, it's really your own personal choice. There's no real wrong or right answer. It's whatever you think will look best for your site. But once you do have that template, certainly come to us. We can help you upload that to our servers, get that all set up. And again, all you need for this is just our basic hosting package, which is provided with any domain registered with us. You can register any domain. It does depend on the extension, but most common ones are just simply $25 per year, and that gives you your free hosting package. You've got your domain, everything set up for one year, you're good to go. So a very quick, easy cost solution for this one here. It comes with the hosting, comes with the domain. We can help you support all this. Now, as I mentioned before earlier on, we are going to have a part two of this video, which is going to show you how to actually modify the content to this site, because that's the next thing once you've got it set up and good to go. Now, for this here, you're going to need to know a little bit of website language unless you've got a really nice editor or something like Dreamweaver, which is going to have a lot more control to it. If you are interested in learning how the website languages work, you can go to W3C Schools. You can just Google it, or you can go straight to their site, which is just W3Schools.com and take a look at that. They do have a lot of good tutorials there. They are going to show you what to do. They're kind of the group that sh sets the rules as to how the website language is supposed to work. Although some people break it to make it look nicer, but that's a good place to start. And that's certainly where any professor of any kind of college course you'd have to pay for is going to point you to as well. And free website solutions or any kind of template like that, that generally where they're going to say to show as well. So this is we're kind of trying to help you out to get you that better looking site at a cheaper price. And certainly if you need any support, that's what .easy is here for. So if you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to leave us comments or contact support, and we'll certainly provide you with more help.